Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be giving you guys my thoughts as best as I can. It's taken me a hot second to do this video, mostly because I didn't want to do this video um, or talk about it because of how I think, what I think the true intentions of this was I don't know where to begin to like start tackling this as best as I can without literally like getting upset all over again this has been on my mind since I saw this product launch since I saw the shade range since I saw everything come out and seeing I really wanted to watch and see how everything played out to make sure what I was feeling was accurate and not just me just being like upset after seeing everything play out and after seeing the responses the statements everything like that i genuinely believe that tarte coming out with the shape tape foundation with the shade range that it has was done purposefully in my opinion um it was something that i felt like they used they did to garner more attention to the launch of this foundation um basically get more publicity get more exposure and that is like the one thing that aggravates me the most they put out that apology saying like we definitely should have done better we um shape tape nation got the best of us or whatever i'm literally prayer paraphrasing it at this time because i can't be bothered to go and look it up because it's complete trash to me um i don't care what the apology was i genuinely believe that this was to create more attention, to create more exposure for the launch of this foundation, which was absolutely not even needed. Uh, Shape Tape was like, I think I heard it's the number one selling concealer in the world. Like you absolutely did not need to go down this path and this route. We have worked so hard to get to this point. That was my main focus in 2017 was my Darkest Shade series to get this message out there and we're getting somewhere, we're making noise, we're making progress. It's so crazy to see everyone actually banding together and talking about this and put holding Tarte accountable for what they did. Tarte knows exactly what's going on, what the what's gonna get people riled up. It's complexion issues right now. We're trying to push this forward and make a change, a positive change in the beauty community. So when companies drop foundation ranges that are trash, with no effort at all, it's talked about. We actually discuss it and we talk about it. For me, I see what the intention was and that angers me even more because that's a setback. Also, one of the reasons why I feel like this was an intentional thing is the statement that was given, the first initial statement that was given to Pop Sugar as to why the foundations weren't complete. Um, I think the statement was something along the lines of, oh yeah, we're definitely extending more shades in the spring and summer months because we tan and get darker in the summertime. And I'm just like, that statement just pushed the agenda even further. I felt like, who would that statement calm down or who would that statement incite to even be more upset? but the people of color that were already neglected in the launch of this foundation, that their complexion does not fluctuate that much year round. Although they have apologized and said that they're extending their shades soon and that they should have known better, they do know better. I've already reviewed a while back the Shape Tape Concealer and that concealer was a part of my Darkest Shade series. It's like, bro, you already have acknowledged the fact that there is someone with deeper skin, with deeper skin reviewing your product to see if it works for deeper skin tones. And that is really how I feel about this foundation. I do have it here. I will probably include right here a clip of what both foundations look like on my face. Of course, it's ashy and dusty. We already knew that. So us using our platforms to speak on things like this, there's only so many of us, but there's so many of you guys. And us banding together is what changes it. And you guys basically have such a huge power to, to change the way that everything has been moving. You can change the way that these companies think about launching foundation. It literally comes down to us 
working in like unison to make this change happen. So that's really why I ended up deciding that I wanted to talk about it and not brush it off like I did Jouer because it's frustrating like I said guys, I live this 24 seven. I think that's all I have for this video. I really hope you guys have learned something or just seen it from a different perspective. Um, I hope other companies really see that this is not the right way to get more exposure for your products. And I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love and I'll see you guys next time.